Today's Films Friday. This is the dessert from the Films Friday. So I had it intentionally for uh, trying to left Tuesday, but was, I had enough room for it, enough time or room for it, but I do it now. So I'm gonna do a I'm gonna do a trying to laugh to a to one of the co-hosts of the late great Betty White, and also we lost Sidney Poitier in this past week as well too. Betty White, who we lost this past this past uh, New Year's Eve. So one of her co-workers, Sophia. Patrilla, best known, so Patrilla, played by Estelle Getty, Sophia is the matriarch of Dorothy, and um, the, the oldest member of the Golden Girl, character-wise, as, of the Golden Girl gang, of of uh, Dorothy, Blanche, Rose, and, 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 um, and uh, Sophia. Sophia is always known as as they say the OG comeback queen and her comeback and wisecracks are hilarious so I thought this would be a good try to laugh I'm gonna keep both Sidney Poitier since you lost this past weekend and Betty White in honor of this video starring uh her as well as the main person of the video Sophia uh Estelle Getty as aka Sophia Petrillo so without further ado this will be a try to laugh let's get it why are you insulting me? It's a defense mechanism. I guess it's to hide my feelings when I'm deeply upset. Oh, well, I understand. In that case, I won't take it personally. Thanks, you human mattress. <laughs> you go. You're too competitive. It's always been your worst feature. <laughs> Actually, your ears are your worst feature. <laughs> but competitive is right up there. Yeah, Jealousy no is a very ugly thing, Dorothy. And so are you in anything backless. Oh, Dorothy, can I make a little suggestion when you go for your makeover? Sure, what is it? Don't expect a miracle. Please <laughs> do her Dorothy. Dorothy. You look Dirty. so beautiful. Oh, thanks, Ma. Who's the designer? He deserves a Nobel Prize for miracles. <laughs> I don't see Blanche. Oh, she said she'd be over right after her hair appointment. She wanted to look her best for Charmaine's big day. Boy, Blanche is handling this a lot better than I would. I would kill Gloria if she ever wrote about my sexual escapades. <laughs> you kill your sister over a pamphlet? <laughs> oh, no. I can't see myself swinging my hips and wildly gyrating my pelvis. I am not interested. <laughs> and the world heaves a collective sigh of relief. <laughs> She's going in on her own. This is, this is her. Let me just remind y'all. This is her own daughter. She's going in on. My daughter may be no spring chicken, and her jaw might crack when she chews. And she may have noticeable trouble digesting raw vegetables. But one thing she's not is mental. Thanks, mom. I raised her, and I was the one who got her through that awkward period. The 50 toughest years of my life. And I knew you'd be special. And I didn't disappoint you? A little. <laughs> Come on now, would it hurt to spend a little time with your daughter? That remains to be seen. Strictly hypothetical. Let's say a man wants to take you out on a date. Why is that hypothetical? Check your calendar, pussycat. <laughs> Now, Ma, remember, don't do anything I wouldn't do. I think I crossed that line when I got a date. <laughs> oh, Dorothy, a man called for you while you were out. Finally, now we can break out that bottle of champagne we've been saving. <laughs> Arrested for prostitution. I can't believe it. Oh, Sophia. <laughs> Sophia, we're innocent. I know that. I can't believe these dumb cops would think anyone would pay money to sleep with you. <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> it's me, Blanche. You look like a prostitute. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna have to meet men lying down. I thought you did. I take very good care of myself. I treat my body like a temple. Her. Yeah, it opens everyone, day or night. My life is a romance novel. Your life is a sports page. Oh, please, everybody says what a giving person. I guess we'll take, 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 take turns on each, each member because first of all, door, now she nails Blanche. Oh my God. She's going to Blanche. If they have the one on here when, when, B, when Dorothy shuts her mouth, give, give her food to keep from talking, I might break. 
I am? She's talking about when you're in an upright position. Why are you insulting me? It's a defense mechanism. I guess it's to hide my feelings when I'm deeply upset. Oh, well, I understand. In that case, I won't take it personally. Thanks, you human mattress. <laughs> she would have made a very good psychologist. Great idea, pussycat. Give Blanche an office with a couch and a license to charge by the hour. <laughs> Sophia, there's something I don't understand. Now, you're always a bit ornery, unpleasant, impolite, even downright mean. That's part of your charm. Thank you, you bed-hopping relic. <laughs> I blame my wife for this. Oh, my goodness, we have company. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Whoa. Whoa. It's so embarrassed to be seen in this old thing. <laughs> Don't worry, Blanche. The dress covers most of it. We were always so much alike. <laughs> and so close, just like Siamese twins. It's a shame when they separated you, you got both butts. <laughs> Stop it. Stop it! I cannot stand it anymore. You know what I can't stand anymore? That phony accent of yours. What is this, designing women? Hello, Blanche. How are you? You don't have cataracts, you tell me. <laughs> Beat it, you 50-year-old mattress. At least she is. At least they say her age. Okay, got, so they do portray her as her age, because folks don't know that she was uh, Rue McGowan playing Blanche. She was fifty. She was in her fifties through the whole season. Like she was asked, she was really the She was fit in her fifties the whole season, even to the last season. Even I matter of fact, even on the uh, spinoffs, I think she was like in the last years of her face, like 58, 59, I think. But yeah. Thank you, you miserable old Blanche, Blanche. Blanche you know the rules. When one of you is out with Fidel, the other one does not interfere. My apologies. <laughs> now, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna go take a long hot steamy bath with just enough water to barely cover my perky bosoms there you go. Did you sit there? you're only gonna sit in an inch of water why don't you just kiss and make up uh -oh. why don't you just blow it out your ditty bag uh -oh. nah. there you go. i wonder if jewelry comes from jewish people <laughs> in little falls the jewelry this is gonna be this is gonna be really really a, a pain because you know you know rose yeah, no rose. R.P. Betty White, but R.P. All but Betty Betty White, but you know Rose. Oh boy. It was Jewish. Oh boy. Jeweler, Jewish. I wonder if oh there's boy. a connection. Oh boy. I think there's a connection between your brain and wallpaper paste. Or she you go in or her her um, rose, intelligence what the hell are you doing? I'm making omelets for us without yolks, so we don't get too much cholesterol. <laughs> And that leaves us all these yolks, which I hate to throw out, so I thought we'd give them to the homeless. <laughs> Fine, give them egg yolks. They'll die of heart attacks. They won't eat homeless. <laughs> Your heart's in the right place, Rose, but I don't know where the hell your brain is. Rose Nyland? No one if I start acting like her, pull the plug. <laughs> Dorothy, you're the smart one, and Blanche, you're the sexy one, and Sophia, you're the old one, and... <laughs> I'm the nice one. Everybody always likes me. The old one isn't so crazy about you. You're moving, Rose. Too bad. This would be touching if I liked you more. I know if he got to know me, he'd like me. Why, I got to know you. I don't like you. You just say that. Repeatedly. <laughs> Go ahead, stand up and say it. My name is Rose and I'm an idiot. Are you all right, Sophia? No. Why does everyone keep asking me that? I'm okay. I'm fine. I don't want to talk about it. You know, I saw a lot of this when I worked at the grief center. You're angry about Phil's death and that's normal. But you shouldn't be angry with Angela. You know, I think you haven't cried because you haven't accepted his death yet. Thank you. I've never been psychoanalyzed by a dipstick before. <laughs> the man in that box was a bum. <laughs> a scoundrel, a cheat, and a liar. <laughs> but there was another side to him, and it was beautiful. He awakened feelings in me I haven't felt in 35 years. 
We used to hug and kiss and hold hands. And it was, it was nice. He made me feel attractive and desirable again. He probably made the rest of you feel that way too. And looking out at this kennel club, that was no small accomplishment. Mm. This nectarine is beautiful. I never saw a more perfect piece of fruit. No? Then try kissing my behind. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, it's me, Stan. What do you want? Oh, uh, yeah. I have a surprise for Dorothy. What? Now that you're off the blood pressure medicine, it's working again? <laughs> Hi, Sophia. Remember me? Stan's brother, Ted. I danced with you at their wedding. Where were you when they got divorced? I was looking for someone to dance with then. <laughs> Come on in, Stanley. We were just talking about you. <laughs> I thought I felt my ears burning. <laughs> Maybe that cheap toupee you're wearing retains heat. I know. Oh, yeah. This is her versus, uh, this is Dorothy. For sure, as you'll know, it's Stanley. That's Dorothy X. It was, we kind of got an idea by that first scene, but yeah. Oh, you know she was going in on him. See, baseball was meant to be seen from the bleachers in small, intimate parks with real grass. If there's anything I hated, it's artificial turf. That's never stopped you from wearing it on your head. <laughs> it's me, Stan. Wait, let me rephrase that. It's me, the new Stan. What are you talking about? Don't you notice a difference? Can't you see the glow? Can't you see the light radiating off of me? Sure, it's the porch light glaring off your head. <laughs> Morning. <laughs> Mm -hmm. We first time he's gonna be must have. I guess you ladies didn't recognize me without my toupee. <laughs> I guess that's it. Uh, do you mind if I use a phone? You already used my daughter. You didn't ask for my permission. <laughs> There's a phone in the living room. Thanks. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Okay, I know what it looks like. And frankly, that's exactly what it is. You had to bring him home. You couldn't find a drunken sailor on a street corner. Honey, you okay? Oh, why do these things keep happening to me? And why do I let them keep happening? I'm just tired of getting all dressed up, looking gorgeous, going out, only to lose out in the end. On the other hand, I am dressed up, and I do look gorgeous, and... It is gringo night at Hernando's Hacienda. <laughs> oh, but I don't think I ought to go. I'm just so vulnerable. Oh, yeah. Does anybody know how to say vulnerable in Spanish? <laughs> oh, never mind. I'll say it with my eyes. <laughs> Adios. <laughs> I said it before and I'll say it again. Sluts just heal quicker. <laughs> Sophia's a mess. She plays no game. Oh yeah, uh, I was the, I was hoping that they put in one when she uh when uh Dorothy Mary eats some bread or something like that because she because she they knew she was going to say something insulting to them about Blanche I think. Oh my God. But other than that, Sophia, the original uh, petty queen, right there for real, for real. Other than that. If you like my reaction, like, share, subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's your boy T. We're signing off. One love, R.I.P. Both Betty White and Singapore D.A.